All right, how are you doing this morning? My name is Lance. I'm with the uh, National Troops of Truckers program. And I saw you and a couple of your students hanging out here, getting ready to start the day. And I wanted to ask you a couple of things about, uh, about truck driving, and I guess about truck driving school too. So what's your name? I'm Richard Mack. Richard. And uh, how long have you been driving? Well, over 19 years. 19 years. How'd you get started driving? I worked in textiles. They went out of business. I had to find a career, so truck driving was my backup. Did you go to a school, or did you just learn how to drive and get and test out? No, actually, I went to school. I went to the same school that I teach at now. Okay, and um, and so, uh, and how long have you been teaching? Well, over five years. Five years. Do you see a big difference between what it was like to drive when you first started and what you what you got to teach the guys now? Oh yeah, a big difference with all the rules and regulations and changes that keep being made. With the logs and all that? Mm -hmm. Okay. And so, first I'm going to ask you, you know, for a veteran who's getting out of the military, do you think driving is a, is a good profession to step into if, if, you know, either for a little while or long term? You know, I believe driving would be a great career to step into coming out of the military. Okay, and they don't have to have any particular qualifications, right? They just have to be able to pass the normal, you know, DOT and, and things like that, not have a bad record to, to, to begin driving. There's no special qualifications? All the qualifications have a clean background check, clean driving records, uh, and then, of course, you know, go to a accredited school where they can get their CDLs. Okay. Um, is there anything you would recommend as, say, someone's in the military now and they think they want to drive when they get out, is there anything that they can be doing now to get ready to be a better student or anything, is there anything they can be doing now ahead of time? Well, the thing they can do right now is probably just get in touch with our local schools or whichever school they'd be interested in and get with the recruiter there. And most of them, like our school, we have a military recruiter and they can put them on the right steps of where they need to do next or when they get out they can go right into school. Since you're with a school then you're probably familiar with the placement. Are people being placed right away? Are they getting jobs? Oh yeah, with the uh, trucking industry shortage on drivers and they can have a job before they leave school. Excellent. And are they getting both local and over the road? Mostly over the road stuff. Uh, local can come, you know, with, usually with some experience, six, eight, or six months or a year. But most of them are going over the road. Okay. All right. So any, any last words of advice uh, to these vets as they're looking at truck driving? Well, I'd just say, uh, you know, get yourself together, figure out what you want to do when you get out, and thanks for your service, and we hope to see you at our school. Perfect. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate you. All right. Thank you.